Hello everyone. Welcome to your YouTube channel Physics Love. Today we are here to discuss a very interesting topic physics in firearms. So let's start. First we understand that what is a firearm. A firearm or gun is a machine or system used for delivering maximum destructive energy to the target with minimum supply of energy by the shooter. Gun is a weapon with a metal tube that fires bullets or explosives. Now, what are the basic parts of a gun? The basic parts of gun are first one is action. Action is also known as trigger group. Contains the part that fires the cartridges. The second part is frame. The frame is a metal housing complex that also serves as the handle of the gun. And the third one is barrel. The barrel is the metal tube that the bullet travels through. And the fourth one is most important that is caliber of gun. A gun is identified or you can identify the power of gun by the caliber. The caliber of gun refers to the diameter of the bullet and inside of the gun barrel. A firearm caliber determines how powerful the weapon will be. Caliber is measured in inches or millimeters. Now let's understand what is the concept of thermodynamics in working of a gun. Thermodynamics is a branch of physics in which we deal with the study of heat energy or motion of heat energy from one body to another body. According to thermodynamics branch of physics, the firearm or gun works like heat engine and bullet works like a piston in cylinder. The energy conservation efficiency of gun depends on construction like barrel length and caliber diameter. The more volume to surface area ratio leads to good adiabatic process and good adiabatic process means minimum or very less amount of loss of heat energy in the surrounding. That's why the long barrels are referred. And the force is proportional to the square of the barrel diameter. So it means if you increase the barrel diameter, then force also increases. Now, what happens when we fire? When you pull the trigger of a gun, a spring mechanism hammers a metal firing pin into the back end of the cartridge, igniting the small explosive charge in the primer. The primer then ignites the propellant, the main explosive that occupies about two thirds of typical cartridge volume. As the propellant chemicals burn, they generate a lot of gas very quickly. The sudden high pressure of gas splits the bullet from the end of the cartridge, forcing it down the gun barrel at extremely high speed. 300 meter per second or 1000 feet per second is typical in a handgun. It's only the bullet that fires from the gun, the rest of the cartridge strays where it is. It has to be ejected after firing, sometimes manually, sometimes automatically, to make way for the next cartridge and the next shot. Now let's understand what is the physics, physics concept of firing. Now let us assume that the combined mass of the gun and the shooter is capital M. Let the mass of bullet is small m. Initially, the gun shooter system is in a state of rest. Therefore, using conservation of momentum, momentum of system that is gun shooter system and bullet before firing is equal to momentum of system after firing. As the velocity of both the bullet and the gun and the shooter is zero, Therefore, momentum of the system on LHS is zero before the firing. But after the firing, the total momentum on RHS right hand side is the mass of the gun multiplied by velocity of the gun plus mass of bullet into velocity of bullet. Now from this equation, we can find out the velocity of the bullet. So the velocity of bullet after firing is minus capital M capital V divided by M. That is the minus of momentum of 
गन डिवाइडेड बाय मास ऑफ द बुलेट नाउ यू विल फाइंड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रिलेशन बिटवीन द रेशो और द रेशो ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो रेशो ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑन वेलोसिटी एक्चुअली काइनेटिक एनर्जी डिपेंड्स ऑन वेलोसिटी बट इन दिस केस रेशो ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ वेलोसिटी लेट्स प्रूव इट काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ गन शूटर सिस्टम इज हाफ एम वी स्क्वेयर एंड द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ बुलेट इज हाफ स्मॉल एम स्मॉल वी स्क्वेयर when you will find the ratio of kinetic energies you just put the value of velocity of bullet in the given equation and you will surprise to know that it is equal to mass of bullet divided by mass of gun it means the ratio of kinetic energies is independent on velocity but it dependent on the ratio of mass of bullet and the mass of the gun so you can easily identify the ratio of kinetic energies because it is same as the ratio of the masses since the mass of bullet is much less than that of the shooter there is more kinetic energy transferred to the bullet than to the shooter now types of firearms there are number of types of firearms uh, let's uh, talk about some of them like pocket pistol ineffective for any purpose except ultra short range defense when it is important to appear to not to be not armed revolver automatic pistol semi automatic pistol pump shotgun automatic shotgun bolt action rifle lever action rifle automatic rifle there are many types of firearms available in the market according to their usage and purpose now thanks for watching please subscribe like and share our channel and also press the bell icon for timely timely notification thank you very much bye bye jai hind jai bharat